I'm Trey Robinson, and I make videos for FlowGrappling.com, the leader in jiu-jitsu media. And in this series, we're taking you behind the scenes with the best grapplers on the planet as they prepare for the 2022 ADCC World Championship. ADCC is known as the grittiest, toughest, and most prestigious tournament in professional grappling. Taking home ADCC gold can change your life forever. So we're going to go around the globe to see how the best athletes in the world are preparing to make their dreams a reality. Welcome to the 2022 to ADCC Vlog. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the ADCC Vlog. Today we're in New York City. We're going to Marcelo Garcia Academy to check in with Mateus Denise. Mateus Denise is the returning 88 kilogram champion. Just a beast of a guy overall, but he's running the classes here at Marcelo Garcia in Manhattan. See how he's getting prepared to defend his title as the current 88 kilogram ADCC champion. Also training here at Marcelo Garcia Academy, we're gonna see Juan Alvarenga. Juan is competing in the 66 kilogram division, but super excited. There's Marcelo Garcia Academy right behind me. Super stoked to get in here and uh, see how these guys are getting ready for world championship. How you doing? Good. It's all good? How you guys been? So, you going to head instructor now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's in Hawaii now. Yeah, how far you live from here? Uh, normally, I, my bike's upstairs. Yeah, okay. Uh, normally, and the train's like a, 30 minutes. Okay. Bike ride is like 40. But so, in the summer it's nice outside, so I'm like, ah. Gotta go up a lot of stairs to get to this place. Should've taken an elevator. That's where you guys think? Right up the street, the New Yorker. It's uh, by Madison Square Garden. Oh, okay. 10 That's minute cool. walk. There's something cool about all the gyms in New York being really sm narrow and long, having to go up a bunch of stairs to get there, but I think here we are, Marcelo Garcia Academy. Uh, this is like a advanced class. It's our competition class. You know, we, Marcelo don't like to call this like a competition. We like to make sure everybody feel welcome. But uh, what are we going over today is more like a very fundamental butterfly guard, starting when the person is on the knees, and we get the two on one and see some reactions when the person on top can do it, like extend, stand up, try throw legs around. So we try to keep the distance so we can reset and connect with something. So that's what we're doing today. Butterfly connection, keep a good distance, and understand the frames we can make it from there. How do you balance uh, being an athlete and an instructor? For me, it's pretty easy, though. I like, I love both, you know? So, um, those advanced class, I train them as well, so I teach and train, so it's pretty easy, you know? So, I feel it's the same for me, because I'm here all day, so I don't see the difference. Of course, like teaching, we gotta give more attention to these students. When I'm just training, it's different, can just focus on me. But I feel like uh, I'm balancing pretty well both. So, and I feel one help the other. So when I'm teaching, I kind of see some mistakes that I might do it when I'm applying the technique, when I'm training. And uh, when I'm training, I see some techniques that I can do and that works really well. And I try to bring it for the students. So I feel both, it helps me. And uh, I don't have a problem doing both at the same time. So we're here, he's gonna grab my ankle, immediately foot on the hip, right low. Triceps, wrist. Throw to the side. Right, as you throw into the side, your legs are gonna come out to the outside. All right, legs coming to the outside. So here, block, cross, legs coming to the outside. When we come up over here, what happened is, as I find Juan's leg, he wrapped my head around, yes. Right, so a lot of times we get stuck in the guillotine. Okay, after we finish over here, after I finish, I wrestle, finish here, and immediately don't let go of your partner's knee. Right? Your shoulder is gonna go on your partner's turn. At the same time, you're gonna start walk towards the opposite side that your head is. Alright? Now from here, after you're right on the side, we're gonna we're gonna block the hip. Okay? Start finding the hand that is on your neck. Feel that out. Let me step out side control. Any questions? It's not backwards, it's sideways. Okay? Let's go!
good. Very good. I feel my game is perfect for ADCC. I can go points, I can play bottom, I can play top. I'm very hard to score, I'm very hard to make points at it. And uh, I'm very, very excited to compete again. I'm very excited to be there and uh, defend my title and uh, win again. For sure, I think I'm better than all them. All them, I, my, when, I, when my mind's in the right place, I can beat anyone, anyone. I don't think I ever show my 100% potential when I'm there. People that are around me and people that see me know that. I'm working each day, every day to get there and be able to pull my 100% game. So yeah, I don't feel I have the target on my back at all. I'm confident, I'm ready, and I, when I'm there, I'm gonna do my best and for sure I'm gonna win. All right, that's a wrap here at Marcelo Garcia Academy. It was great checking in with Mateus Diniz. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Watch the ADCC World Championship on Flow Grappling. You're gonna see Mateus Diniz defend his title. We'll see you guys there.